They lived millions of years apart. Until now. The definitive 3D battle between the sea's greatest killers. For eons, the world's oceans have held secrets darker than any myth. We've conjured legends of sea serpents and krakens, but the truth is staggering. Two titans represent the pinnacle of prehistoric aquatic power. The Serpentine Terror, the Mosasaurus, and the crushing force of nature, the Megalodon. But these monsters never patrolled the same waters. Mosasaurus vanished 66 million years ago. The Megalodon rose much later. They are separated by a chasm of evolutionary time. But what if we could bridge that gap? And the crushing force of nature, the Megalodon. We use cutting-edge science and unparalleled 3D reconstruction to answer how they would fight. The Megalodon rose much later. The Megalodon rose much later. If you want the definitive, science-backed breakdown, The Megalodon rose much later. The Megalodon rose much later. This is Prehistoric Planet 3D, where we bring the past back to life. We use cutting-edge science and unparalleled 3D reconstruction to answer how they would fight. The year is 80 million BC. This is prehistoric planet 3D, where we bring the past back to life. This is prehistoric planet 3D, where we bring the past back to life. Mosasaurus was not a dinosaur, but a giant marine reptile. If you're ready to witness the definitive aquatic confrontation, smash that subscribe button. If you're ready to witness the definitive aquatic confrontation, smash that subscribe button. It's tough, possibly scaly skin, offered resilience. The raptor of the deep, anatomy and strategy. Its physique screes, ambush hunter. It lurked in deeper waters, erupting with terrifying speed. Its prey included ammonites, giant turtles, and even plesiosaurs. It leveraged surprise over brute force. Inside its mouth lies its real terror. The pterygoid teeth prevented prey from escaping. This creature didn't worry about clean bites. It specialized in capture. It was the final word in its food chain.
Its tooth marks appear on nearly every creature in its ecosystem. Analyzing its attack angle. It could wait motionless in darkness, then strike in a flash. It secured targets with its front teeth and used the pterygoid teeth to ratchet prey backward. Its goal was swift immobilization, not tearing prey apart. Its bite force, around three to four tons, was built for puncturing. Perfectly adapted for a hot, murky deep sea. But the Cretaceous world ended abruptly. Fast forward tens of millions of years. The oceans now host a new class of titans. Enter Otodus Megalodon. The Megalodon, giant tooth, was the ultimate shark. Reaching over six, seven feet, dwarfing modern great whites. Built for sustained, devastating attack. It hunted whales the size of buses. Its strategy focused on rapid incapacitation. A key advantage the Mosasaurus could never match. Its massive serrated teeth were designed for shearing. Its strategy focused on rapid incapacitation. It disabled propulsion first, then delivered the killing blow. Its bite force, up to 8 tons, is the strongest ever calculated. It could shatter ribs and puncture thick bone instantly. For millions of years, the oceans belonged to this unstoppable machine. Now that we have analyzed both predators, the stale is set. It could shatter ribs and puncture thick bone instantly. A collision of power and precision. We must focus on the science of their jaws. Phase one, the Mosasaurus opening strategy. It seeks advantage through stealth. It is more agile with tighter turns. Its optimal strike targets soft tissue or flanks. It knows its bite force is inferior. It must avoid a head-on collision. It attempts to loop around and strike quickly. The goal is bleed out, not instant kill. But its teeth are built for gripping, not shearing. The Megalodon's massive bulk absorbs the blow. Phase two, the Megalodon counterattack.
It relies on size and sensory precision. Its attack is overwhelming and direct. It doesn't bite! It demolishes! One bite could fracture spine and ribs. The force ratio is too lopsided. The Mosasaurus's ambush strategy becomes obsolete. The Megalodon uses its superior mass for stabilization. It executes a crushing upward or lateral attack. Its serrated teeth shear through hide, muscle, and bone. The fight wouldn't last long once the jaws locked. Evolution built an even deadlier machine. The violence is over. The Mosasaurus fell to extinction, not a stronger predator. The Megalodon's demise was slower, a colder tragedy. Whales migrated to frigid waters it could not follow. The world changed beneath its fins. These titans were milestones in Earth's story.